Every now and then, you go into a cafe and you see the name of a coffee on the menu that you've never heard of before. In this video, I'm gonna go over five uncommon coffee recipes that are fantastic and fun to make at home. Let's start off with one of my favorite drinks to find in cafes here, which is a cortado. A cortado is a one-to-one -one ratio of espresso to steamed milk, and it's absolutely delicious. The strength and bitterness of the coffee is offset really nicely by the sweetness of a little bit of milk. This one is becoming slightly more popular, and I have found a few nice cafes in Tokyo that do a good cortado. The thing with a cortado is it's really hard to get right because the espresso has to be perfect. Most cafes don't end up making very many espresso espressos because almost all of their customers won't want to have an espresso by itself. It's easy to cover the flavor of a bad espresso with lots of milk like in a latte or a cappuccino, but the cortado, the espresso is front and center with that one-to-one -one ratio to steamed milk, so you have to get the espresso perfect. So here's how you make it at home. First, you pull your espresso shot into your cup. I use these, the Not Neutral Vera, which is 125 milliliters, and it's really good for cortados because it allows me to eyeball that one-to-one -one ratio of espresso to milk. Then you steam a small amount of milk with very light aeration. Don't overdo it, you don't want thick foam like a cappuccino, because in my opinion, it's much better to have a smooth and velvety mouthfeel to go along with the strength of this drink. You can definitely pour latte art if you get the milk right, but because of the size of the cup, it's gonna be difficult to do anything complex. So go for things like hearts, tulips, and rosettas. And if you're not sure how to do them, check the links in the description because I've got videos on these. I only found out about the Marocchino recently, and it's kind of like a mocha macchiato with a little bit of chocolate mixed into espresso and a little bit of light foam on top. It's really delicious as a kind of dessert coffee, especially for people who have a sweet tooth. Start by using a nice small cup, a little bit bigger than an espresso cup. I use the Acme Roman cups because they're just the right size for a macchiato. Pour maybe five milliliters of chocolate sauce in the bottom of the cup and pull your espresso shot directly into the cup. You'll only want a little bit of milk because the ratio should be about two to one espresso to milk and it should be well aerated at about 25%. You can easily tell the aeration by looking at how much the volume has increased. For this drink, I would use a small jug because you don't wanna to waste too much milk and it's much easier to see in a small amount how much the milk volume has increased. Remember when you're steaming not to let the air in too fast because you still wanna have that creamy texture. Cortaditos are not well known outside of South America where they are a pretty popular drink. Now many people like a Cuban cortadito, which is sugar with filter coffee and a little bit of steamed milk, but I much prefer this Peruvian version that one of my Peruvian American friends told me is his dad's favorite drink. It is a little bit harder to make, but this one is much more special and exciting. So for this sweet drink, you whisk together a double espresso with a teaspoon of sugar until it combines into a caramelly syrup. Make sure you whisk it well to incorporate some air, then steam 100 milliliters of half and half. That way you get a really creamy texture when you pour it on top of the espresso and sugar mix. Now for the flat white. I know that this drink isn't that uncommon anymore and I've seen a lot of coffee shops here in Tokyo offering this drink. Unfortunately, most of them get this drink really, really wrong. It's really not hard to get right once you know what it's supposed to be and if you follow my recipe ahead then you'll be able to make a beautiful flat white at home. A flat white is a 40 gram shot of espresso with roughly 100 milliliters of lightly steamed milk. I usually use my flat white cups from Acme for this because they're perfect for this kind of drink, but you can use any roughly 150 milliliter cappuccino cup. I love a good flat white because it's so much better than a latte because you really get to taste that espresso, but you don't have that thick foam like a cappuccino. I often find that ordering them in a cafe, I get something that's much more like a cappuccino. And the key critical mistake they make is the milk foam. It should be aerated at about 10%, so even less than you might expect for a latte. That milk should be smooth and silky, not foamy like a cappuccino.
The last of my recipes is a cafe bonbon. Now this is another dessert drink with a one-to-one -one ratio of espresso to condensed milk. It's usually served in a clear glass so you can see the contrast between the white condensed milk and the dark espresso on top. Make sure not to combine them before you serve them. Now you might be thinking that this is a little bit similar to Vietnamese coffee which also uses condensed milk. However, I think this version is far superior because the espresso is much, much more interesting than the filter pots used for Vietnamese coffee. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have a whole host of new coffee drinks to add to your home cafe menu. Did I miss your favorite uncommon coffee recipe? Let me know what it is in the comments below. I'm doing a lot more videos recently and paying editors to help me produce more content. So if you like these videos, you can support me at patreon.com forward slash home cafe. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one. The Cortado is becoming a little bit more popular and I have found it in a few coffee places For the milk, mmm, that's bad. Remember not to let the steam in too fast because you still want to have that Didn't even record that.